My name is Paul Vinatescu. I'm a junior studying biology and I'm from Fairfax, Virginia. Uh, but before that, I was born in Romania and I actually came to the United States 10 years ago. I think the best thing about GLOBE has been being able to volunteer with, within the community. So as part of my volunteer project in a VCU GLOBE required course, um, I'm actually in Falling Creek Middle School and I've had two different opportunities there. One was teaching in a science classroom. Um, so of teaching these students about like pr principles of uh, science, about some of the things that inspired me to actually study science at that age. And the other has been working with the AVID program, or Advanced Plan to Via Individual Determination. And this is a program that um, is geared towards helping children gain inspiration to go into college and then graduate studies and so on. Um, so I think as part of that program, one of the things that has inspired me to actually help them ask these students like, how many of you want to be doctors? or how many of you want to be engineers or lawyers. And in that group of about 60 students that I saw, uh, there were actually none that wanted to be any of those three careers that are sort of like foundational in a way in our society. So I think sort of like seeing that and sort of remembering what my middle school experience was like uh, in Fairfax, Virginia, you saw this pretty big disparity between uh, the dreams that these students had. So in Fairfax, Virginia, most of my friends wanted to become doctors or wanted to become engineers or scientists. But here at the school, um, close by to VCU, which is this wonderful research institution, uh, the school has students with very few students that actually want to pursue science-based college work. But then I started working to change that. And I actually um, brought in my biochemistry teacher, Dr. Smith, to talk to these students, um, sort of talk about what inspired him about science. Uh, I myself talked about what inspired me to go into medicine. So yeah, so I think it's been a great program and a great experience. Being at that age, you're sort of easily impersonable. So I think like as soon as, um, you know, I mentioned that I'm medicine, I mentioned why I'm interested in medicine, uh, some of them sort of say that like, oh, I'm interested in medicine too now. <laughs> the challenge will be sort of maintaining that interest over time and maintaining it over the next six years of their um, secondary school experience. When I'm actually volunteering with these kids in a science classroom, you know, I sort of talk about like some of the things I've learned in my own science class. I've talked about some of the research I've done. But I think as I sort of age and gain more education and hopefully one day become a physician, I think a lot of what I say will become more meaningful in these types of settings. When we have breaks in our middle school setting, I daydream about what it would be like to be a physician and to volunteer in a middle school setting and what I could say then and how I could talk about my patients uh, to sort of have a bigger inspiration on these kids. Uh, beyond just that of a college student.